Hello everyone and welcome to today's English lesson. We're writing about the book Vajak Poor by S. F. Syed and this week we've been writing diary entries to entertain our reader. This is our third lesson of five lessons. Okay, let's make sure you've got everything ready before we begin. You're going to need a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper or your home learning book to, to write in. Go and get those things together, then press play and continue the lesson. Press pause now. Okay, so here is my diary entry and I have identified another feature. I've identified it in red. This is a feature we've learned about before, so I'm pretty sure you'll all know what it is. Okay, what is the feature and what is it doing to my writing? How is it improving my writing? Listen as I read. Dear diary, this evening the most exciting thing happened. You just won't believe it. I can hardly believe it myself. It started off like any other ordinary night. Just before dinner, Elder Paul was telling us amazing tales about my fearless ancestor, Jalal. I just love hearing these tales, since they are the closest thing I'll ever get to an adventure in this mind-numbingly boring place. It's really the dullest life a cat could have. Then, after the others had gone for their dinner, the front door swung open. I was so frightened, my fur stood on its end. Two shiny black shoes, each as big as a cat, and they were coming through the door. They belonged to a man I'd never seen before. As the man strode into the hallway, I noticed two sleek black cats stalking into the Contessa's house. Who do you think you are coming into my house like that? Okay, so what feature has been identified in red? And I know it. I know you're all shouting it at the screen right now. Of course, it is time-fronted adverbials. And we use time-fronted adverbials so the reader knows when something happens. That's our allo today. Okay, so let's revisit what is a main clause. So a main clause is a group of words that contain a subject and a verb, and it makes sense on its own. The boy ate some chocolate. What is the subject of that sentence? What is the verb of that sentence? What is that sentence about what's the main object or subject in that sentence and what is that subject doing so the subject is the boy and the verb is the doing word he ate he ate some chocolate so that is a main clause okay so with that main clause we can add adverbials so what is an adverbial i want you to have a little think back to what we've learned previously Say your answer out loud, what do you think an adverbial is, and then make a note of it on your home learning book or piece of paper. What is an adverbial? Do that now. Press pause. Okay, great. So you're back. So an adverbial. What is an adverbial? Well, adverbials, they can tell us where or when or how something happens. They give the reader more information. And then, therefore, they make writing more vivid, more descriptive, more expressive, better. They make your writing better. Okay, so then, what's a fronted adverbial? Think about that word, fronted. What does that mean when we have a fronted adverbial? Have a little bit, think back to what we've done in previous lessons. Say your answer out loud, then make a note of it on your piece of paper or your home learning book. What? is a fronted adverbial. Do that now, press pause. Okay, great, you're back and here's what I've put. I've said that a fronted adverbial is an adverbial word or phrase that comes at the front of the sentence. So it begins our sentence. That is what a fronted adverbial is. Okay, so let's move a little bit deeper. 
So we know that a fronted adverbial is a phrase that comes at the start of the sentence, but what's a time fronted adverbial? Okay, I know that some of you are shouting this at the screen already. Have a little think if you're not quite sure, then say your answer out loud, then make a note of it on your piece of paper or your home learning book. Then press play and continue the lesson. What is a time fronted adverbial? Do that now, press pause. Okay, so time fronted adverbial tells us when something happens, it comes at the front of a sentence. So it tells us when something happens. That is a time fronted adverbial. Okay, here are some examples of some time fronted adverbials. I want you to read them with me. Are you ready? Sitting up straight, get ready to read these time fronted adverbials with me. Let's go. After a while, as soon as he could, just before sunset, earlier that day, as he walked in the door, in the morning, eventually. All of those fronted adverbials tell us when something happens. It gives us more information. It creates a better picture for our readers. Okay, so I have given you some clues already to this question. Let's see if you've been listening. Why do we use time fronted adverbials in our writing? Have a little think. Think back to previous learning that we've done, previous lessons. Then say your answer out loud. Then make a note of it in your piece of paper or your home learning book. Why do we use time fronted adverbials in our writing? Do that now. Press pause. Okay, let's see what I've put. Time fronted adverbials, it gives the reader more information and it lets them know when something has happened. That is why we use time fronted adverbials in our writing. They're a really great strategy to use in your writing. Okay, so here is my sentence. And I want us to identify, to notice the time fronted adverbial. Okay, so let's read the sentence together. This evening, the elder paused tail just made me restless. What is the time fronted adverbial in that sentence? I want you to say the time fronted adverbial and then write it down. Okay, have you got it? This evening is the time fronted adverbial in that sentence. This evening. Okay, let's try the next one. Let's read the sentence together. Now, no one was even listening to the tale of Jalal's adventures. Okay, so what is the time fronted adverbial in that sentence? Okay, have you got it? Say it out loud. Okay, you should have said now. Now is a time fronted adverbial. It tells us when something happened. It happened now and it comes at the front of the sentence. Let's read this sentence together. After Elder Poor had finished his tale, the rest of my family headed down the corridor to the kitchen. Okay, what is the time fronted adverbial in that sentence? Okay, so I want you to hear, I want to hear you say it. Off you go. And you should have said, after Elder Boar, Poor had finished his tale, that's a long fronted adverbial, but it tells us when it happened. When did the family go to the kitchen? Well, they went after Elder Poor had finished his tale. That is the time fronted adverbial. Okay, we're getting really good at this now. Let's read this sentence together. Let's go. Just then, the front door swung open. What is the time fronted adverbial in that sentence? I want to hear you say it out loud now. Great, and you should all have said, just then. Just then is the fronted at time fronted adverbial in this 
sentence, when did it happen? It happened just then. That's when the front door swung open. Just then is the time-fronted adverbial. Okay, let's try another sentence. Let's read it together. As they came towards me, I trembled with fear and anticipation. Hmm, what is the time-fronted adverbial in that sentence? I want you to hear, I want to hear you say it. Off you go. And there is our time-fronted adverbial. When did I tremble with fear and anticipation? As they came towards me, that's when I did that. As they came towards me is the time-fronted adverbial. Okay, let's move on a little bit more. I've got a picture and I've got a sentence of main clause. So, Elder Paul was telling a story. It's a simple sentence. Elder Paul was telling a story, your main clause. How can you make that a bit more descriptive? I want you to add a time-fronted adverbial to that sentence. I want you to have a little think about when was Elder Paul telling a story? When did it happen? And I want you to write that down as a time-fronted adverbial. And I also want you to write down the sentence. Say it out loud first, then write it down on your piece of paper or home learning book. Do that now. Press pause. Okay, great. Well, I've written two sentences and they've both got fronted adverbials. But one of my sentences is a time-fronted adverbial and one of my sentences isn't. Hmm. Okay, so I've got the same sentence that you just had. I've said, in front of the fireplace, Elder Paul was telling us a story. And then I've written, before dinner, Elder Paul was telling us a story. Which of those fronted adverbials tells you when? In front of the fireplace or before dinner? Okay, of course you're right. Before dinner tells us when. So before dinner, Elder Paul is telling us a story. That sentence has got a time-fronted adverbial. Okay, I want you to write another sentence with a time-fronted adverbial. Here is your main clause. My brothers and I sat and listened. But when did this happen? When did my brothers and I sit and listen? Hmm. Okay, I want you to write a time-fronted adverbial for that sentence. Do it now. Press pause. Okay, great. So you've done your time-fronted adverbial. Make sure you underline your time-fronted adverbial so it's really highlighted. Here, I've written two sentences, but once again, only one of them has a time-fronted adverbial. The other one is not telling us when. I'm going to read these sentences to you. Think about which one tells us when my brothers and I sat and listened. Whilst he told us tales of Jalal, my brothers and I sat and listened. In the warm living room, my brothers and I sat and listened. Here are my two fronted adverbials. Which one tells us when? When did my brothers and I sat and listened? When did that ha happen? Here we go. It happened whilst he told us tales of Jalal. That's when it happened. Okay, another sentence. I rose up and padded towards the cat door. But when did I do that? When did that happen? I want you to say your sentence out loud with your time-fronted adverbial, then write it down in your home learning books. Do that now. Press pause. Okay, great. You're back and once again... I have written two sentences. One of mine has a time-fronted adverbial in front of it. My first sentence is, when no one was looking, I rose up and padded towards the cat door. Oh, without anyone noticing, I rose up and padded towards the front door. I've done my animation the wrong way around and I've given that one away. And of course, it is the first sentence there, when no one was looking. I'm sure you knew that anyway. Okay, let's have a look and see. Here is my sentence. My fur stood on end. I want you to add a time-fronted adverbial to that sentence. 
to make it more interesting, to tell your reader when it happened, when did your fur stand on end? My fur stood on end. That is a sentence. Do that now. Press pause. Okay, great. You're back and you will have added your time front at adverbials. Hopefully, uh, my animations come up in the right timings this time. So my sentences are, as he entered the house, my fur stood on end. And without warning, my fur stood on end. So when did it happen? When? Which of those fronted adverbials is a time fronted adverbials? When did, which one tells us when it happened? Okay, so we've got as he entered the house and without warning. And as he entered the house, that is when it happened. That's our time fronted adverbial. Okay, another one. A bit more practice. Let's have lots of practice. We'll get really good at this. My sentence is, I stood frozen to the spot. I want you to make that sentence more engaging, more interesting by adding a time fronted adverbial. Do that now. Press pause. Okay, great. And here are my two sentences. I've got added fronted adverbials, but only one is a time fronted adverbial. Only one of us tells us when I stood frozen to the spot. First sentence, at the bottom of the stairs, I stood frozen to the spot. And as the cats climbed the stairs, I stood frozen to the spot. Which one of those is the time fronted adverbial? Of course it is. It's as the cats climbed the stairs. That tells us when I stood frozen to the spot. Okay, you know what to do here. I want you to write down one, two, and three in your books. And then you're going to tick or cross which ones of those sentences have got a time fronted adverbial. And how do you know? First sentence, suddenly I heard the door. Has that got a time fronted adverbial? Does that tell you when? Number two, as he walked past, I stood frozen to the spot. Does that have a time fronted adverbial? Does it tell the reader when it happened? And number three, immediately, I made a dash for the front door. Does it have a time fronted adverbial? Does that tell you when? Okay, do that now. Press pause. Okay, great, you're back. So number one, we've got suddenly. Does that tell you when it happened? When, when did it happen? That doesn't, no, it doesn't, does it? Okay, let's have a look. As he walked past, does that tell you when? When did I stand frozen to the, frozen to the spot when he walked past? Mm. And what about immediately? Immediately I made a quick dash for the door. Does that tell you when? When did you make a quick dash? I made a quick dash immediately. So yeah, let's have a look. The first one, suddenly, it, it tells you how it happened. It happened suddenly. So that isn't correct. That's a manner fronted adverbial. But as he walked past, that tells you when it happened as he walked past. And, and what about the immediately I made a quick dash for the front door? When did I make a quick dash? I made it immediately. That's when it happened. Okay, so you should have had cross tick tick. Well done if you got that correct. Okay, so here we go. Now you can check me. Right, one, two, three. Have I got it right? If I haven't, could you fix it for me? Let's read question number one together. As the man walked into the house, I saw two sleek cats saunter in behind him. Number two, after dinner, we would sit and listen to tales of our ancestor, Jalal. And number three, quickly I raced towards the open door, hoping to make my escape. Hmm, have I identified correctly time-fronted adverbials? I want you to give me a tick or a cross. If you give me a cross, can you tell me why I got it wrong? Okay, do that now. Press pause. Okay, great. Let's have a look at number one. As the man walked into the house, did that tell us when? Yes, it does. It tells us when it happened. It happened as the man walked into the house. What about after dinner? Does that tell us when we sit, would sit and listen to the tales of Jalal? Yes, 
It does. It happens after dinner. And what about when I when when I race to the door? When quickly? That's not a time fronted adverbial. No, so that one's incorrect. Quickly is not a time fronted adverbial. It doesn't tell us when it happens. It tells us how it happens. It's a manner fronted adverbial. Okay, so here we go back to my writing. And we're going to read this together. Dear Diary, this evening the most exciting thing happened. You just won't believe it. I can hardly believe it myself. It started off like any other ordinary night. Just before dinner, Elder Paul was telling us the most fan fascinating tales about my fearless ancestor Jalal. I just love hearing these tales since they're the closest thing I'll ever get to an adventure in this mind-numbingly boring place. It really is the dullest life a cat could have. Then, after the others had gone for their dinner, the front door swung open. I was so frightened, my fur stood on its end. Two shiny black shoes, each as big as a cat, and they were coming through the door. They belonged to a man and I had never man I'd never seen before. As the man strode into the hallway, I noticed two sleek black cats stalking into the Contessa's house. That's my writing with my time-fronted adverbials. Today, I'd like you to choose one of the parts in Valjet Paul that you've read to perhaps today. And I'd like you just to write one paragraph. But I want you to really focus on using your time-fronted adverbials so that the reader knows when something has happened. You're going to write it as a diary entry from the point of view of Varjak. Or if you want to challenge yourself, you could write it from the point of view of another character. Get yourself comfortable. This should take you about 10 minutes. Press pause. And then when you've finished your writing, you can press play and continue the lesson. Press pause now. Okay, wonderful. Well done for your paragraphs. Have a look through your paragraphs and underline any of the time-fronted adverbials that you've used. Okay, and then we have finished our lesson today on our writing based on the book Varjet Poor. And what I want you to do when you're reading is to notice the time-fronted adverbials in the books that you're reading from and really, really get interested in these. You could even make a note of them and use them in your own writing. Well done, everybody, for joining in today's lesson. Have a great rest of your day.